YouTube channel. Today we are in my bathroom. Today we're gonna be doing this beautiful display frame perfume thing. It's amazing how great it looks, how you can display your favorite perfume and it's very easy to do. So today all of that, this one here and the one that I have above my head that you don't see, we're gonna be doing today this beautiful 3D type of display frame perfume. So if you wanna know how we do it, just keep on watching. For this perfume frame, we'll need a paper to protect the area, a ruler, a pencil to mark wherever we need to put the nails, masking tape, hot silicone and hot silicone gun, a hammer, different sizes or nails. We'll also need these plain wood sticks, your chosen paint, this is white, different size of brushes some gloves to protect your hands and also I'm going to be using these shells I bought them in Target they come in a uh, different background shades this white and yellow one it works really good for me peel off the package and you see we don't have any um, coverage on the um, wood it's a plain wood so we can paint it right away we're going to be covering the background of the entire frame with the masking tape to protect from the paint. So we're gonna leave the wood uh, leaving out or showing and the background is gonna be protected. Then protect now your hands, take your chosen paint and start painting the entire outside, inside and also the top border. Both of the shells they are um, drying out. I'm gonna start creating the small shells that's going to be inside of the frames. I'm gonna first um, paint them. No. Are you gonna measure them? I'm gonna add at the end three of the sticks for each shell, but at the beginning I start with two. I'm gonna be painted and wait for each side to dry before giving another coat. So at the end I'm gonna be giving two coats of everything, or white painting everything, the shells, the frames, everything. It dries really quick. Now with the hot glue we're gonna start creating the shells. As I was saying, I ended up placing two, uh, three of the sticks together, but I uh, started with just two. Gonna add a little hot glue on the borders and stick two of them together. Once they are together and dry glue, I'm gonna um, turn them um, the other side around and add another layer of glue on top just to make them more secure. And don't worry, this is on the bottom part of the shell, it won't show up. And then take off the paper that we add, the masking tape, and measure whatever the shell is going to be and create some guidelines with the um, pencil. Now I'm gonna add the nails in each of the um, marks I create with the pencil and twist it to get it the right size and position. I'm gonna use the head of the nail, which is a little twi um, like you see as uh, a curve. I'm gonna use it as a hole, also part of the shell. I'm gonna glue them or hot glue them the shell into the nails, and I'm gonna be doing exactly the same in the other frame, but I'm gonna be doing in the opposite side the shell just to create different kinds of balance and once everything is dry I'm gonna paint it in white also the nails now we are ready these are frames so it comes with hunger spoon already so I don't need to place them just to make sure whatever I wanted to add them add some marks and this is the trick, I use post sticks, these sticky papers and just fold it over and use a driller and it cuts all the dirt, they are amazing, this trick is good. Then I'm gonna place my nails, hang my shells and we are done. Now you can display your favorite perfumes 
or anything that you wanted to display in. They look really good and have a touch of glamour and decor to your, um, to your bedroom. Well guys, I hope you like this DIY. I'm so excited to keep sharing all the DIYs, DIYs decor that I'm doing for my apartment, my bedroom, for everywhere. If you like to see them, just let me know by giving a thumbs up to this video and also leaving a comment below. Otherwise, if you want to see different type of videos, just of course leave me your request below on the comment section and I'll read all of them as always. If you want to know about me every day, you have to follow me on my social networking and Twitter and Instagram and, and Facebook and Pinterest and Tumblr and Vine also because I posted this picture a while ago and so many of you request the, to see the video and ask me for it. So if you want to know in advance what I'm doing, just follow my social networking. And as always, thanks so much for spending time with me. Be happy and see you next one. Ciao, ciao.